Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Vivian and I am back with another video. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, hello, please like, comment, subscribe, share my videos on all platforms, and don't forget to click that notification bell on the side. That'll keep you alerted anytime I upload a new video. This is a lifestyle channel as well as my ability to share with you all my journey on Manjaro to Zepatai. So I just wanted to come make this video um, just to kind of give y'all a rundown on how I've been feeling, you know, since being a year in on Manjaro. As y'all know, I started August 20th of last year. My starting weight was 404 pounds. I am a type 2 diabetic and uh, my A1C at the time was greater than 14. Now my A1C is a 5.4 and I'm currently, as of Sunday, I'm currently 320.2 as of, you know, Sunday. Today is Tuesday. Um, so just wanted to give y'all just a few things on, you know, just the differences, you know, on how I, I'm feeling from... Before I started Manjaro up until now. Now, before I started Manjaro, I had all kind of issues. Um, shortness of breath. Um, sleep apnea. Uh, I, I mean, I could hear myself breathing. Okay. Um, which is embarrassing. I mean, I, I would be sitting at my desk and my coworkers would think I was sleeping. Because they could hear me breathing hard. I, would always, I was always tired. I don't care if I went to bed and I slept for eight hours. I would still wake up tired with headaches. Sometimes I would wake up in the middle of the night, rapid heartbeat, like, and, and feeling nauseous. Um, I would wake up with headaches all the time. I mean, all the time. My knee, I, my left knee would stay inflamed like I, I, I it would always stay with fluid okay stiffness um always my left side my left knee and um my left foot my left foot would stay swollen stay swollen um the my color i would be dark in certain areas like between my thighs my neck would be dark. My neck would break out with rash rashes. Um, you know, just all of those things. You know, just not being able to walk certain places without getting tired. I mean, I would walk, take a few steps, and I was tired. Um, it's a whole lot of things. Uh, I, I might be missing out on some things, but it's just to say how I was before started Manjaro and now a year in on this medication I can't I, I let me tell you something I feel better than I ever was okay um I sleep better um what's what's I sleep better I don't get tired when I walk you know I can I can catch a flight of stairs you know without getting tired um, my knee doesn't give me problems like it used to. Okay. Um, I have less inflammation in my knees. I have left, I have, I have left, um, uh, oh, I can't hardly talk this morning. I have less stiffness in my knees. Okay. Um, my foot doesn't swell. Again, no inflammation. Um, I'm not tired when I when when I walk. When I wake up, you know, you know, I can go to bed for hours and wake up. I'm I'm not tired like I used to be. I don't wake up with headaches anymore. Um, my glucose be normal. My blood pressure be in a normal range. You know, it's it's a lot. It, it's a lot, and it's a lot to be thankful for. Okay. I, I, I feel good. Look, I'm 83.8 pounds down within a year. That's a lot. That's a lot. Um, but most importantly, 
that's another thing. Before I started my journal, see this, my Apple Watch? Before I started my journal, my Apple Watch would go off constantly, every five minutes. Heart rate greater than 120 for sitting idle. Heart rate, heart rate, high heart rate, high heart rate, high heart rate. That watch would go off every five minutes before Manjaro. I could be sitting on quiet watching TV or at my desk doing my work. That watch is going off constantly. Since starting Manjaro, that watch doesn't go off. That's one of the biggest accomplishments, if that's the word I want, I want to give it. That that out of all the things that I mentioned, that one right there it, it, it is the the best thing to me because i'm telling y'all that watch would go off constantly high heart high heart rate i wouldn't be doing anything strenuous i wasn't under pressure or anything i could just be sitting down that watch would go off high heart rate high heart rate it wasn't until a month later i was sitting down and i and i started thinking i was like it, it dawned on me i was like this watch is not going off I noticed my watch is not going off. That watch does not ring high heart rate like it used to. And I remember crying about it because I was like, man, my watch before Manjaro was really telling me there's a problem with my heart. Mind you, I'm sitting at 404 pounds. My watch was really telling me there's a problem with your heart. Because since taking Manjaro, I'm telling you, that watch does not do that. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. It did that, I think, last month or something like that. I'm going to have to go back. It did that just one time, and that's because... You know, I was overwhelmed, you know, with work and stuff. But other than that, it does not go off like it used to. Just, just, just going off for no reason. You know, just going off, just sitting quiet. It would go off. Every five minutes. Since taking Manjaro, I do not have that problem. That watch does not go off like that. And if it do... Is because I'm under pressure, and that's probably maybe one or two times every blue moon, and that's it. Not going off just for sitting idle every five minutes. So, let me tell you something. I got a lot to be thankful for, and y'all that's on this medication have a lot to be thankful for. And this is what I want to tell you too, because I noticed this in, in Nurse Keisha's live last night. You know, someone was saying how they only lost 24 pounds. Let me tell you something. Y'all stop with that word only. When you say you lost, and I had to learn that too when I first started. People had to tell me, I, 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 I. we don't say only. When you say you lost, say you, I lost 24 pounds. Not I only lost 24 pounds. 24 pounds is a lot. Okay, a pound is a lot. You know how you know what a pound of fat looks like? I'm gonna insert it somewhere and show y'all that picture because I still have that picture and I still like to remind people this is a pound of fat. See that? Now, when you look at that pound of fat and look at how much you lost. Y'all gonna quit saying only. Okay. 
You know, I'm just playing with y'all. But don't say only. Say I lost. Because that's a lot, baby. Two pounds is a lot. Okay, when you look at how much is a pound of fat, that's a lot. So, when you speak about, when you, I, you know, I, don't say only. Say I lost. Because, baby, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay. Um, just be thankful when you when it, it, a lot of y'all, uh, you know, sometimes we may think this medication is not working because again, the majority, the you know of of people looking at it for weight loss. You know what I'm saying? They know, and, and again, weight loss is a side effect. This medication is doing what it's intended to do. Like, okay, we're not talking about Zepbound because Zep, well, Zepbound and Major is the same thing, except that Zepbound is for weight management. You know, it's FDA approved for obesity, Majoro type two. This medicine is going to correct the issue at hand, which I'm speaking on Majoro. Control your A1C to get your A1C under control. Okay. Everything else, like weight loss or whatever, that all comes after. Okay? That all comes after. Weight loss is a side effect. So, you know, again, I, the, the majority of us, and, and, you know, it's true. The majority of us, we look at it, oh, I didn't lose no weight. Oh, so-and-so, well, she lost five pounds. I didn't lose nothing this week. Remember, the medicine is going to fix the main issue at hand first. Weight loss is just a bonus. Some of us have that side effect quick. Some of us have that side effect slow and steady, which slow and steady is always good. I tell anybody that. Um, you know, we're lucky to have that side effect on these medications. You know, so you have to give the medicine time to work. The medicine is not going to only do weight loss. It's not. Because real and truly, it's going to fix the main issue first, which is controlling your, getting your A1C under control, your glucose, all of that. All that weight loss, that's just a bonus. And majority of us is lucky to have that side effect. Okay, because there's other side effects, nausea, constipation, you know me, deal with that every week, it's to be expected, and all of that. But weight loss, that's just an added bonus. So just be patient. I know a lot of times we may think this medicine is not working. It's, it's working because it's doing what it's intended to do to fix the main cause. And then weight loss is just a bonus. It's just, a you know, it's going to come later. You know, but just I just want to tell y'all, just be patient. Because I was like that when I first, well, when I first started, well, you know, I was seeing results quick. But, you know, then at some point I would stall, you know, I would fluctuate and I would get frustrated. But you, you just got to be patient. You got to look at how you was, how you was, how you was feeling before. You started taking the medicine. How you was feeling? Hmm? How you was feeling? Were you feeling sluggish? Were you feeling tired all the time after sleeping for eight hours? Hmm? Were you waking up with headaches? Were, was your blood pressure constantly high? Was your glucose constantly high? Were you tired all the time for taking a few steps? Were you, you sitting down, hearing yourself breathing hard? Your joints and everything hurting you? Stay with inflammation? Back would give out on you after taking a few steps? That's another thing. My back would give in quick. After taking a few steps. Now I walk in the stores. And around at my job. Like it ain't nothing. I be gliding. 
with no back pain at all. That's another thing. So you see, you got to look at all of that. You got, you got to look at how you was before you started that medication. You still have them problems not since being on it? I, I want to know if you still have those issues since being on it. See, you got to look at that. When you think that medicine is not working, take a look at how you was feeling before and how you feel now. Because if you're not feeling like you was before the meds, if you notice an improvement, that medicine is working. I don't care what that scale tell you. Because, baby, that scale can, can make you feel like you're on cloud nine one morning. And then the next morning, oh, baby, the pits of hell. Okay? So, you got to look at all of that. that. That medicine is doing what it's supposed to do. We just have to be patient. And I know a lot of us just focus on weight loss, weight loss, weight loss, weight loss, weight loss all the time. But... Look at all the other issues that you was having. You know, like sleep apnea, blood pressure, um, your glucose, joint pain, inflammation. Look at all of those things and just be like, hey, man, I'm noticing I'm not feeling as sluggish. Or, you know, just look at all of that. Like, man, you can't even pay me to fall asleep at my desk at my job like I used to. I mean, I would literally hear myself breathing hard to where my coworkers would think I was sleeping and I wasn't. You know how embarrassing that is to hear yourself breathing hard? I was always tired. I don't care if I went to bed for eight hours. I still woke up tired. I'm not like that no more. I don't have, I don't have those issues. Now, don't get me wrong. I got a long way to go. But I don't have those issues. It ain't as bad. You understand me? So you got to look at all of it. Try to see my mic still. Okay, it's still green. Um, You, you just got to look at that. It, it's much more than just weight loss. It is much more than that. You got to look at your overall health. I am blessed and I am thankful that I am not where I was last year. Today. I am thankful and I am blessed. So I just want to make this video because... You know, I, I don't know if I touched based on that before, but I just want to come make this video to let y'all know it is much more than just weight loss. Weight loss is just a side effect, and this is only a tool to just give us that, that push, that kickstart. The rest is up to us. We got to do the work. That's it. It's just going to give us that little push. And then once we get a few pounds down or whatever, it's all up to you after that. Okay, and I just want y'all to understand it is much more than just weight loss. Weight loss should not be the only thing. You got to look at your overall health, how you how you really feel. Like I don't feel like, like I was last year where I was near death. Okay, so you got to look at all of that. It is much more than just weight loss. That should not be your only focus. And I and I know I know this medicine has that side effect. But again, it I want y'all to understand this is not a weight loss medication. Weight loss is a side effect. You know, most the majority of us is lucky to have that. But it is much more than just weight loss. Okay. Your health. You gotta look at how you started versus now. So I just want to come make this video. I hope I touch based on everything from how I was before and, and now. And you know, sleep apnea, let me tell you something. That's why I say this medication is a game changer and it's a blessing. Because let me tell you something about sleep apnea. And I used to, I used, I, I have uh, my oldest brother, he had it bad. And he's on Manjaro M2. He was on one. Before Manjaro, he was on one way he had to take daily injections. But luckily, his doctor was mentioned Manjaro to him, and, and he found out I was on it. And, yeah, so now he's on Manjaro, and best thing. He would snore so loud. Like, I would hear him snore. And then all of a sudden, he would get real quiet. And I'm like, wait, what happened? 
And then all of a sudden I would hear him trying to catch his breath. You know how many times a person with sleep apnea does that throughout the middle of the night? That's why I knew I had it. That's why every time I would wake up in the morning, I, I don't care if I went to bed for eight hours. I would still wake up tired and with headaches. Because doing that constantly throughout the night, that's losing oxygen to the brain. You know, and, and, and have a, man, it's like you literally stop breathing. Like you stop breathing. Like I would hear my brother snore, 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 snore and then he would get real quiet. Just imagine doing that throughout the night. That's why people with sleep apnea, and I know I had it, would wake up in the middle of the night, wake up the next morning, still tired. Now, that's why I say this medicine is a game changer, and we just have to be patient and just understand that it is much more than just weight loss, and it, it really helps with a lot of issues. I mean, it helped women with infertility issues, um, you know, like polycystic ovarian syndrome. It helps with all of that. All of that. It's much more than just weight loss. So you got to look at your overall health. You know, when we think this medicine is not working, it's working. It's just fixing the main issue first. And then everything else going to come into play. So... I just want to come share that with y'all and hope you all have a great week. I uh, know today is Tuesday, um, but yeah, I, I think my biggest is that Apple Watch not going off about high heart rate every five minutes. Like I broke down a month later when I realized, I was saying, man, I noticed my watch hadn't been going off and I'm telling you. I lost it like because I'm like man my watch really was telling me that something was wrong with my heart and thanks to Manjaro I don't have those issues I promise you so um I just want to come share that with you all so thank you guys for watching this video please like comment subscribe share my videos on all platforms um again just stay focused, stay encouraged, you know, again, give the medicine time to work and understand that it's much more than weight loss and just look at your overall health. And then you will be like, yeah, you know, I noticed I don't, this ain't doing this, this ain't doing that. And you're going to be like, well, the medicine working. I promise you. And in worst case, ain't nothing being fixed. Talk to your doctor. I say this all the time. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, share my videos on all platforms. Again, thank you to all for all the comments, the questions, the concerns, the love, the support, the likes, the shares, the super thanks. I appreciate it all. It, me it really means a lot to me. And I see it all. And I appreciate you all. And I want to thank you to all my new subscribers for subscribing to my channel. Uh, make sure you click that notification bell on the side. That'll keep you alerted any time I upload a new video. Okay? So, stay focused. Stay encouraged. Stay in your own lane. Focus on your journey. No one else's. Don't compare your journey to others. Don't be like, oh, she lost this. I didn't lose it. Everybody's body is different. So, But just focus on you. Okay, so that's all I have to say. So thank you guys for watching this video and I will be back soon with many, many more to come. Bye.